Your next match is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first. My name is Jason Register, aka Joe King. I'm 5'10, 205 pounds, from right here in Yorktown, Virginia. My finishing move is the killing joke. Honestly, what I think grew me to wrestling was me and my mom would go over to my grandmother's house and watch WF pay per views. They were fans, and uh, so in turn, I became a fan. I started uh, training to be a wrestler back in 2002. I was uh, still in high school, so I trained for about a year and a half, and I uh, had my first match. Once you learn the moves in the ring, the best thing to do is get in front of a crowd and perform, and that's what we did. Over the years, I've performed at many different promotions. It's impossible to count them all. I try to stay busy as much as possible, as long as you know the pay is enough to justify the travel. I'm, I'm all for going to any any promotion that'll have me. Maybe every weekend, maybe every other weekend. You got to be willing to travel on the road. You miss time with friends. You miss time with family. Wrestling that often, it can bring a toll on your body. If you do something for a long time, something physical like this, you know, injuries do come. I've had no serious injuries, but one happened very early in my career. Uh, I went to do an insiguri kick and ended up landing right on my wrist, right here. Hairline fracture. I actually missed no time. Um, I had a cast on for four weeks. I still perform with the cast on. Uh, maybe it wasn't the smartest idea. I didn't want to miss any time. That and I wanted to show the other guys, I'm not going to let it, a little injury like that keep me out. Honestly, to me, winning and losing, as far as personally, I don't take offense. I'll win, I'll beat whoever, I'll lose to whoever. That, that part doesn't matter to me. If a show doesn't have a spot for me to perform in a match, and they need a referee, I have a referee shirt in my bag for that reason. I'm 32 now, so I'm not a spring chicken anymore. Maybe I lost a step, possibly. But I think I keep up pretty good for somebody my age. Now that I have more experience and a little older, a little wiser, I'm able to work a little smarter. I think I might have maybe 10 more years left in me as far as in-ring wrestling. Nobody can defeat uh, Father Time as it were. Well, I do work a lot, so I get home, get something to eat, relax a little bit, and I got a match coming up, so. I should study for the match. When I'm prepped for a match, if I know who my opponent will be, I might watch a match of them on YouTube. Form is very important. I try to make sure I do things correctly. I, I want to make sure my moves look good and crisp. Also, I don't want to become stale. I, I like trying different moves. I, I watch a match back as soon as I can. I'm looking for technique. I think my mind is more into it now. I'm able to see things better as a performer. I've definitely seen like somebody who I've had a match with and, and they've moved on and done, you know, gotten bigger opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. Funny enough, he actually had the match at WrestleMania for the Cruiserweight Championship, uh, Cedric Alexander. So now he's on the grandest stage of them all and he's, he's doing pretty well for himself. I hope he wins. Uh, I mean, there's always that what if scenario. I've been raised to help others first. If the promoter or the booker doesn't know who they want to win, I'll be like, hey, I'll, you, can, you, know, you can beat me, I'll take the pin. What do you want to do? I'm happy with what I'm doing on this level. There, there are times where now when I see somebody I may have known or met and they're up top and they're on TV and I'm happy for them, very happy. But you know, I always think, what if? I think I'm satisfied, you know, where I'm at now.
wrestling yet? Not a clue. But it's part of the excitement is sometimes you don't know until maybe five minutes before. Person booking the show will come up with an alternate opponent for you. Usually they'll tell you how they want it to finish still. Wrestling it owes you nothing and will constantly remind you of that. But I'm, I try not to look at that on a negative light. Is like what we do is we're entertainment for the people who work 40 hour jobs. And this is it's like a live movie. You know, they come to get away from their problems at home, bills, work, stress, anything like that. They come here to get away and be entertained. That's what we do. It was a childhood dream and I'm living it and I don't want to stop living it. 
because it, it's, it's fun to me. I, I know one day, like my body's gonna give out. I'm not gonna be able to, to take any more bumps. My back will give up. People have what's called a bump card. And once you, know, you get so many bumps per card, and when your grind is out, that's it.